You know what this is? Listen, this I will is, talk uh, to you about this. If you promise me we're going to go down. Okay, we will. We, we will. will. Okay, okay. then let's talk. I'm very excited about this too. You know, this is where that other dream of ours always was. Can you carry 80 or 100 inches? That means, of course, a projector in your pocket. And Vikram? It's actually So this is, is a battery powered. It's this small, so you can easily put it into your pocket. And you can Chromecast into this, you can AirPlay into this, and it also has got a connector at the back. So you could actually stream anything that you want into this and carry it around. Now the resolution is something which we need to check. That's and what we're going to check, light. and we're going to check the, the screen size. And there are, of course, two of them, so the resolution different for both of them. But, what know, we're gonna... are, but this is not a toy, it's not cheap. Oh, it's no, like no, 20, no, no, no. These are proper bucks, Pico so projectors, and for business and for entertainment can be used. Uh, so at that but... price, the resolution does become important. So, you know, you can't, if you've shrunk it down this much and it's not good quality video, People won't spend $30, Absolutely. That's, that. I think, where it really comes down to, which is why in our review, we're going to try these out in different environments, in a corporate environment and yeah. at home. And then we're going to give you our final verdict, Canon projectors that actually fit in your pocket. There are a lot of holy grails in this world. Live forever, fly to the moon, find the meaning of life and carry a projector in your pocket. While we are working on the rest, we do have one that has actually come true from that list. But before we go there, let's start with a guessing game. What do you think these are? High capacity power bank? Nope. A compact hard drive? Nope. These tiny little devices, the size of a wallet, is a realization of that holy grail. They are Rayo mini projectors introduced by Canon India. We have two variants with us, the Rayo R4 and Rayo i5. They're almost full-scale projectors, which you can literally carry in your pocket. First up is a Rio R4, small yet powerful. At the back is a 3.5mm jack, the HDMI MHL port, reset option and the power adapter. The right has a power key and the focus option, the left has a volume control. The projector also comes with a tiny tripod. You can use this to project from a laptop or a tablet or a phone. For iOS devices, you need to purchase a separate converter or Lightning Digital AV adapter. However, it does miss out on a Type-C converter, but that can be easily handled with an adapter. The main USP of the device is its portability while still delivering a full feature list. You can carry it anywhere and project it anywhere. It has 50 ANSI lumens and an expected lamp life of 10,000 hours, giving you a screen size of up to 230 centimeters. The Rayo R4 is priced at about 30,000 rupees. Next is the Rayo i5, the super spec full feature projector for the wireless generation. The i5 really steps up the game and this is the flagship of the range. The real USB here is the fact that you can go completely wire free. The settings here are a little different. When you're connected to Wi-Fi, use the mirror cast option on your mobile phone to cast your phone's contents on any surface. For Android devices, switch the button to the M mode and for iOS devices, go to D. For connecting to a laptop, the device has an HDMI port. Besides the wireless part, this one also takes the picture quality and brightness to a new level. This has a brightness of about 100 ANSI lumens and lamp life of approximately 20,000 hours. It can project to up to 400 centimeters and is priced at about 50,000 rupees. But the proof of the pudding is in the pudding itself which meant that we tried these in various real-life situations in three different scenarios. At home. Want to share photographs of your latest holiday with your family? Just connect the projector to your phone and cast the pictures on a wall. Make sure the projector is placed on an even surface. The projector has built-in speakers, but just in case you want it louder, you can connect it to separate speakers as well. We found the picture, the brightness and the clarity to be very good. Obviously, the i5 can cast a bigger picture and it was brighter. In the office. With your phone in one pocket and the projector in the other, you can go easily do a presentation literally anywhere. Even hold a quick meeting with full multimedia and share important documents and images. If connecting to an adapter at all times seems difficult, the smaller projector has its own battery that lasts up to two and a half hours. The i5 lasts up to two hours. In a cafe, browsing the internet and social media can be all the more entertaining with friends when you can do it on a bigger screen. 
And just imagine the ease and the fun when you can do it with more screen space. There is a power saving eco mode as well that you can access when you press the power key twice. Here's our final verdict for both projectors. The Rio R4. This is portable and very well suited for projection with a laptop or simple cables with mobile phones. Whereas the Rio i5 is the wireless genius, an absolutely seamless wire-free connectivity experience, it is easy to set up and the audio quality works pretty well in a confined space. That then is the holy grail of projectors coming to real life. Now, about that trip to the moon... You know, Rajiv, there's still a lot left from Computex from last week, so I think we should show everyone that, including given my passion for AI and robots in general, there was actually a robot that was running around oh, serving I thought you were going to say something that would have been so wrong on a show like this, a family show. I thought you were about to say your passion for waitresses, because, you know, My this passion for AI and related stuff. Thank so God, because, a you know, robot already that my extremely low impression of yours was going to plummet down further. I thought that would have raised your impression <laughs> dramatically. No, actually, it would have, it. but, you know, then it's you. So, yes, this is an interesting one. So, some very interesting things, including the new Predator series. And then, yeah, shouldn't yeah. this have been called the Robator? I mean, Robelf? A Robator sounds like something which is an automator. A Robelf is just... Yeah, I like the it's name. It's just what have you Although ever Although I've been never served been served by an elf. elf. Yeah, I was just about to say, no elf has ever served me, but I guess that's what the principle is. Okay, Computex. This is what it is. And Roboramu. The multi-talented robot comes with a removable camera called the Elf Eye that can be used independently as well and can assist in performing daily home tasks, set reminders, video calls and more. The Robelf can also be synced to switch off the television set, change the channel and control other room settings. Other functionalities include education by collaborating with third parties for activities such as storytelling, sound interactions and more. It can also help in home care by looking after the elderly and keeping a check on home security. Now gaming laptops are usually all about performance, power and speed, but that also makes them quite bulky and heavy to hold. But MSI is set to change that trend because they have introduced their new GS65 gaming laptop. Now this one has a 15.6 inch screen, but it's very, very light, just under 2 kgs. But that does not mean that it has compromised on the battery because the battery is over 8 hours. They've also introduced their new MSI Prestige, which is another ultra weight laptop at just 1.2 kgs. Besides a lot of innovative tech, Computex from Taiwan is particularly known for all the gaming goodness that it has to offer. Changing the trend of conventional big and bulky gaming laptop designs, MSI came out with a much sleeker and lighter gaming machine. The GS65 Stealth Thin is an all-black laptop, aluminium built with copper highlights and is a good looker. It is under 2 kgs in weight and is about 0.69 inches thick, making it one of the thinnest gaming laptops. It has a 15.6 inch Full HD display with a bezel-less screen. It flaunts a 144Hz refresh rate which means that the screen refreshes 144 times in a second. In terms of the ports, you get a complete package with 3 USB 3 ports, Ethernet port, dedicated mic, headphone jack, Thunderbolt 3 port, HDMI and display port. They also unveiled the Prestige PS42 laptop which is thin, light and stylish, competing against both Apple and Alienware. The placement of the camera is interesting at the bottom of the screen giving a much bigger screen with a minimum bezel. The battery claims to be over 10 hours which is pretty efficient. The 14-inch laptop has a Full HD screen. In terms of connectivity, it has two USB Type-A ports, two USB Type-C ports, full HDMI port and an SD card slot. Now when it comes to gaming, you really have to mention Acer there, right? And here at Computex, they showcase their new lineup of the Predator series, including desktop, gaming laptops and monitors that also have sensors and cameras in them and they can actually track you while you're playing the game. Acer's Predator has its eyes on you. The new Predator Orion 5000 gaming desktop features 8 cores and 16 threads. NVIDIA GE Force GTX 1080 GPU. The chassis of the 5000 has a transparent side panel to show off all the power that's inside. In case you're looking to upgrade, it is easy to swap out components and cables with the easy open side panels. 
The Ice Tunnel 2.0 technology is used to regulate the temperature and is designed well to provide each sector with its own airflow to expel heat. The gaming monitor supports Toby eye tracking software that allows the PC to track and interpret the user's eye. This eye tracking can enhance gameplay experience by changing display based on what the user is looking at. Now when it comes to gaming, Asus has gone all out. Of course, they had the ROG phone and now there are two new gaming laptops, the Scar 2 and the Hero 2. Now compared to the previous generation, both these laptops have a much, much narrower bezel. Uh, the keypad design has really been enhanced and the lifespan of each key is almost 20 million presses. It also has four antennas uh, for a better and a more stable connection. So let's take a quick look at what all is there in the Scar 2 and the Hero 2. Asus 2 showcased their gaming laptops at Computex and at first glance the Asus Hero 2 and the Scar 2 seemed like a considerable upgrade with an updated processor. With a 15.6 inch bezel less screen, they have a 144Hz refresh rate for a smooth layout of graphics and games. There are notable transparent keys on the letters Q, W, E and R for multiplayer online games on the Hero 2 and the SCAR 2 has the W, A, S and D keys lit up. The makers have added RGB lighting and split the keyboard in four parts that can be customized and comes with a full light bar at the front. It has four antennas for an uninterrupted experience.